What's going on guys, I'm Jerry. So, in today's video, we are going to be talking about Joe Biden. I mean, I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Joe Biden. And basically, Joe Biden, who has been known to always just hide when it comes to any confrontations. And basically, whenever we need, to, whenever we need him to talk, he either just does not talk, or he makes up an excuse not to talk. Or, worst case scenario, he reads off a teleprompter, right? This is, these are some things that Joe Biden are, is not that great at. And of course, we know one of the main alpha dogs, President Trump, is probably one of the most ruthless people on the planet. He can tear up anybody. And there is this thing called the presidential debate. And Biden and Trump have to go at it. Well, we kind of know, even if you're a Biden supporter, you know who's going to win that one. And I don't have to tell you guys that Trump's going to do great on that because we just know he's a real estate person. He's in business. He knows how to close people off and he knows how to get it out. And, you know, he knows how to just shut people down. So today's video, we're going to be looking at Joe Biden versus Donald Trump presidential debate. What are some things Joe Biden can do not to win? We know that's not going to happen. What are some things he can do to escape? What are, things, what are some things that he's planning? And we're going to talk about the whole Democratic side, what they're going to do to try to help Joe Biden push the curve and of course as always we're going to be talking about our great president president trump and what he's going to do and how he's just going to demolish biden if he steps on that podium so let's go all right so as i start off with the basic stuff of course we know president trump real estate mogul pretty big guy billionaire he we don't need any explanation joe biden though of course we know that he's not that he's not capable of you know executing like that and we know that he has had a small drop off where when he was young, he was very like upspoken, he was very good at, you know, delivering speeches. But now we know that he's not able to put sentences together. So if there is a debate, it's pretty obvious that Joe Biden and President Trump, when they go at it, President Trump's going to have the upper hand easily. He tore up Hillary Clinton in the debate and she was actually like a decent speaker. Whereas if Biden goes up there, he is just going to bring up all the different stuff, all the different claims. And, you know, he's just not scared at all. Whereas, of course, Vice President Biden, he definitely needs a teleprompter. He needs people to help him, as we saw many times. So let's look at some of the things that Biden can do to kind of escape this route where he does not have to get caught. So basically, if I were Biden or if people, you know, what they're trying to do, Biden is basically just trying to use as many excuses as he can to kind of push the debate out. And of course, we know Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House from the Democratic side, she said that we do not need debates. And she says, honestly, guys, I don't believe we need debates, right? Of course, she has to say that because if Biden gets on that podium, it's over. So when she says that, we can kind of infer that they're going to try to play some kind of thing where they're going to be like, oh, we have COVID-19, so we can't have people in the people listening to the debate because it's going to be too dangerous. You know, or they're, they're going to say something like that, which is going to going to kind of cause the debate to be off. And one crazy claim that I heard was that they're probably going to say that Biden has COVID and that he can't participate. And if that happens, of course, they'll just make him do it from home. But at the end of the day, if there is a debate and if they do step up on the field, we know President Trump's just going to rip Biden apart. So guys, the only thing you can do, you can't influence a debate because that's not the power we have. The power we have is to vote. So get on there, guys. In-person vote. And of course, you can do mail-in voting too, but President Trump's going to do some stuff about that. So if I were you, I would get in your car, jump on, go to the mailing site, and cast your vote. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow in a brand new video. Bye.